For the first time since 1945, Montana and Montana State won't be taken to the football field for their annual rivalry game this fall. The Bobcats and Grizzlies have met 119 times since starting the series in 1897, but the coronavirus pandemic postponed this year's game to next spring. I've talked to a lot of people that have played at a lot of different schools and been around this rivalry, and they say this rivalry is pretty special. It's uh, pretty heated, competitive. I don't think there's a lot of love. Shan Schillinger has now both played and coached in the rivalry. But like most in the Treasure State, his allegiance started long before he ever suited up in the maroon and silver. My father had played here back for Jack Schwartz out in late 60s, early 70s, and so I was... Uh, Growing up, I was always a, a Grizzly fan, and it was always a dream of mine to play here. And I'm just thankful that Coach Hop gave me that opportunity back in 2005. Schillinger enjoyed a tremendous career with the Grizz, who went 51-6 and during his tenure from 2006 to 2009. That included four wins against the Bobcats, all of them special to the Baker native. 2007, I was a sophomore. We went down there, and uh, I remember Lex Hilliard, he had a torn labrum. He just had surgery on his thumb, and... Uh, he had pins sticking out of his hand, and he had to sit out the game before, and Lex carried the ball for 30-some times for 180 yards in and, and a muddy field and kind of put us on his back and carried us. And That was a memory that sticks out to me. In 2008, we, we, it was a game a lot of the fans remember. We wore old-school uniforms, and we won the league that year and played for national championship and won that one here 35-3. to That was a special one. And then my senior year, obviously being a senior, going to Bozeman and winning is always a, a memory that you'll never forget. The rivalry hasn't been as kind to Schillinger as a coach. He's led the Grizz safety since 2016, and they're 0-4 against the Cats during that span. But the rivalry was quite enjoyable for Schillinger when he was just a fan. The Grizz won 16 consecutive games in the series from 1986 to 2001, and two of those games are burned into Schillinger's memory. It was always a long ways away from Baker, Montana, so and my... Uh... Aunt and uncle lived in Bozeman at the time, and my uncle was the head coach at Bozeman High. So we would, when the Grizz played there in Bozeman, we would um, go over and watch the game. So I was at the 95 game, and I was able to watch Dave Dickinson. I was real young and remember that game. And then I was at the 97 game in Bozeman when uh, a thriller of a game when uh, Chris Hepner hit a uh, game-winning field goal uh, as time expired. Um, so uh, those are two that stick out to me. There's a lot of them, but those are two that really uh, stick out to me. And uh, just being at those at a young age was pretty mm -hmm. special. The Cats and Grizz were supposed to meet up for the 120th time on Saturday. Instead, that game, like the rest of the Big Sky Conference football schedule, has been pushed to next spring. UM is scheduled to host MSU on March 27, 2021. It's a... Uh, he did fun, exciting game that uh, it's a unique state that, you know, that, that makes it special. And to be a part of this rivalry has been, uh, it's been really, really uh, special for me.